YouTube, how are you now? Sean back from the EDC den. Guys, we continue to go through my latest uh, delivery of knives. Today we are looking at a lion steel knife, and this is the Gitano. Very nice knife. It is a slip joint knife, so it's non-locking. Lion steel knives made in Italy. The steel is Nylox steel. Apparently has good edge retention and corrosion resistance, but what blade steel doesn't tote that these days? So we'll see. Hopefully it's a good one. Nice looking knife. Uh, we've got green micarta on the handles and titanium bolsters, as well as t titanium framing. So basically the liners are also titanium. Not sure about the pocket clip. It does look to be the same, but I'm not sure if that's steel or titanium. They didn't mention that. Here's the blade. So it does have a half stop. And then it really snaps in with some good authority. It really locks up nice and smooth and tight. Nice clip point blade. So you see the overall look of this knife kind of has the Spanish Navaja inspiration. And that was brought to Lion Steel by the custom knife maker that collaborated with Lion Steel for this model. And that is Goody Van Poppel. And there's his logos on the back. It's a good looking blade, definitely a good looking blade. Nice and, and pointy on the clip point. Nice sharpening choil. Really like when the, the edge starts kind of set back away from the handle. Just makes me confident that I can get this back to sharp quite easily if I need to, just by the way the blade is designed. So that kind of gives me confidence to make this a user and, and that I will be able to maintain it and sharpen it. So it's very stiff to close with that, that strong opening. Very smooth from the half stop to getting it to close. Really snaps in with authority. There's the spine. So you'll see that line steel rounds their spines and they kind of just tuck it in between those titanium liners. And I think that helps kind of hide any gaps. So it does look nice and it's unique, but I also think they do that to just help hide some of their gaps. And there is gaps in this. If you do hold it up to the light, you can see some gaps through there. Um, but aesthetically, this, this way of kind of rounding that spine and spring, as well as rounding these liners kind of creates some reflections and shadows in there and makes those gaps disappear. See a little bit of white there. That's some white grease that they used. So this knife is quite new. Just a little bit of grease around the pivot. So you get a lot for your money, I think, with this one. It's just over a hundred dollars. And you can tell that, you know, they're they're listening to what people like in knives as far as people like us who are buying knives. You know, green micarta, quite common. They threw in some titanium there. Titanium's very popular. You've got these nice kind of decorative yet functional pivots. You've got some machining on your titanium bolsters. You've got the rounded spine. Nice functional low key pocket clip. It works well. It's not huge. It's removable, I believe, if you don't want it. Blade centering is bang on. The action is great. It's very easy to pull. The pull is probably a five. And then it snaps in just super strong. There you can see 
that little opening notch oh, right there. That's kind of where it's going to hook in and grab into the blade. They do use a technique called, it's, it's a French term, it's called Cran Fossé, and I believe that means forced crown, which is some sort of method of, of having this lock up. So just the way that this spring connects with the, the blade and locks in. Extremely, extremely solid, which is great. Non-locking blade, yet it locks up ultra nice and tight. Gives you really good confidence for use. Here's how it looks in the hand with medium hands. Definitely room if you're a larger hand individual. Definitely room for a large hand on this. Very comfortable. So a nice good full size nice knife with a, a three inch blade, 3.25 inches I believe. The weight on this is only 2.6 ounces. So it's titanium, which is kind of a lighter steel. And if you can see that, it is milled out as well. So very strong knife, but very light. Nice size blade, full size handle, all in just 2.6 ounces. So pretty nice package there. Here's the closing again. You kind of have to let your finger ride on the top to get a bit of leverage. And it's pretty easy to, to crack that first step. And then the second step is very easy. And you see there's no kick behind the, the edge like you'd see on slip joints to prevent the, the edge from smacking the inside of the spring. But instead they have this pin that goes across just above my thumb here and that's going to connect with the blade tang so you're not going to get any any smashing of your nice edge when you close you can just let that drop in freely pretty nice knife guys it's my first lion steel Don't know that I'll be I'll be racing to fill my collections with lion steel knives, but this is a, a very nice one. Glad to have this in the collection, and I definitely will be carrying this and using it. Just with that nice pocket clip, it rides re really nicely in the pocket. Blade tucks in well. It's very thin up here. Still have lots of room for other items in your pocket. I think that's it for this one, guys. That's the Lion Steel Gitano. These come in all kinds of different handles. Uh, there's some, I think, olive wood. I believe they do carbon fiber. Maybe a couple other materials. This is the one I ended up with. Definitely very happy with it, and I would recommend this, guys, if you're thinking of one not seeing a lot of flaws or concerns just a really nice knife overall check them out if you're at all interested i think you'll be happy with it once it arrives all right guys we'll talk to you soon take care